What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Today I got uh, the hoodie that I bought. Um, right now I'm wearing the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga um, Dove, Dove hoodie. Um, I think that's the name, I don't know why it, it's blanking on me. Um, let's see. Yeah, Yeezy Gap, engineered by Balenciaga, Dove hoodie. Um, yeah, so I'm wearing it. You can see a very faint sort of Gap, like university font logo on the front. And on the back, the reason why it's called the Dove hoodie is because there's a big Dove graphic on the back. Um, I'm wearing a large, uh, and as you can tell, it's like a little big on me. <laughs> um, you know, I knew it would be oversized, and it's funny because I watched a lot of videos about this hoodie um, before I got it, um, and everybody's like, I knew everybody was saying it was oversized, but I didn't expect it to be this oversized. Um, and it's funny because uh, I was like, oh, I'm not going to be like them, but I was like them. It's really big. It's really, really big. Um, and I got a large, and I'm six feet tall, and it's like really large. Um, it's actually so large that if I put my hands down like this, the sleeves would go over my hands. So I actually got a safety pin and I, uh, made the cuffs tighter. Um, I kind of like how it fits. Um, a lot of people aren't into the look, but honestly, I don't know. It, it sort of, I don't mind it at all. And it's sort of cloaky and it's cool. It, it, you know, it doesn't like fit me like obviously super large. It just, you know, it's big, it's a big hoodie, you know? Um, so I'm totally okay with it. Um, I got it for a pretty good discount. Um, it retailed, it retails at $240, which is crazy. <laughs> Anybody who bought this at retail got scammed. Um, but I was able to get it resale at $91 after fees and shipping and tax. It was $121, which is pretty good. Um, some cool things about the hoodie is that you could tell that it sort of folds in on itself at the bottom here. There isn't really a, a cuff, and it's because the cuff is actually sewn onto the inside. Um, so it kind of folds in on itself. Uh, it's the same as the bottom here. It's kind of weird because I have my safety pin, but you can see that they're like cuffs and it like folds around the edge here. Um, another cool thing is the hood itself has this weird little like section here. It has this like thing where it kind of rides up on your neck. Um, which actually results in a really like super solid like hood shape um especially like even when it's down like no matter what you're having a very obvious like three-dimensional hood which is great because a lot of the time when you're wearing a hoodie um the hood is sort of just like lays flat on you and it kind of looks ugly from the back but um on here it looks great and it's honestly a very it's honestly a very thick thick and nice hood it's great um on the outside it's 100 percent cotton on the inside, it's sort of a, I think it's like 51% polyester, like 49% um, cotton. It's kind of stretchy. It, it's got this like sort of blanket, like fabric, like material on the inside is the lining. And on the outside, there's sort of a cotton sort of fabric. Um, I don't know. I don't really wear any graphics on, I haven't worn any graphics on my clothes for like, like eight years. So I don't really know, but um I don't know, the graphic on the back seems pretty high quality. You can tell it, it's got like, it's got like a sound to it. I don't, I don't know. Like it looks fine. Like I, I, I wouldn't expect them to skimp on the uh, screen printing quality. Um, but you know, it, it looks pretty good. Um, and it already looks kind of cracked as sort of like a vintage look. So, you know, if it does crack, you can't really tell because you would just say it's part of the printing. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, of course, it's getting into the summer months, so uh, I'm not gonna be wearing this too too often very soon, but um, you know, as it gets cooler, you know, I could wear this, maybe even throw on my Easy Gap Balenciaga round jacket too. Let me throw that on. You know, if I really want to be silly and, and ostentatious with gigantic torso, I could be like, hey guys, hey guys, what's up? Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's a really cool hoodie. Um, I'm going to take this jacket off. Um,
Um, yeah, it's a really cool hoodie, and um, you know, it's fun. It's it's cool. Don't spend two hundred and forty dollars on it, because uh, I can't think of any hoodie that's worth two hundred and forty dollars unless it's made out of like wool. You know, um, what? I'm six feet tall. I'm one hundred and sixty six pounds, um, and this is a large for sizing. But do keep in mind, I have the safety pin, so this is gonna totally fall down. Like this is gonna fall down, gonna go. It's gonna like hang from your hand when you when you wear it. But I have a safety pin, so it like keeps my hands uh, open. Uh, so this is a large. If you want it to fit more like a normal hoodie, uh, maybe get a medium. Uh, it might be a little weird. The neck hole might be a little tight. I don't know what the variance in the neck hole is between the different sizes of this hoodie. Uh, but I do know whenever I'm putting this hoodie on, it's like hard to, it, you have to like really squeeze your head through, which is weird. I don't think I have a particularly large head, um, but the tightness of the neck hole makes me think that maybe like you're meant, you're meant to go true to size on this one, especially from the Balenciaga engineering. Um, it makes me think that maybe like, I don't know, maybe it's meant to fit oversized. You know, I just watched, um, uh, Balenciaga's, uh, spring summer 25 show right and they have um like these super oversized coats and stuff and for real it like rides down your hand and you can't even see like the sleeves are very long and you can't even see the hand on these uh on these models right um and you know that's not a look that i'm super into but you know all i'm saying is that the oversized look is maybe intentional right <laughs> maybe it's not like a mistake right um overall it's a good hoodie Everything from the Yeezy Gap Balenciaga collection is like very good and very high quality. Um, you know, as high quality as you can get from a Gap collaboration, right? Um, and yeah, overall it's really cool. I'm really happy with how like unique it looks. Um, I love wearing unique, cool clothes. I wear my ostentatious boots and my uh, my salvage denim from Brave Star and you know, I, I, I like wearing cool clothes and, you know, this is just another cool item of clothing to have. Um, you know, when I first got it, I was kind of worried, like, maybe I wouldn't like it, maybe I wouldn't like this size, but, like, the more I wear it, you know, the more I enjoy it. Um, it's just really, really, like, nice. It, it, it's just very cozy and it's like a, I forgot what it's called, but um, those, like, as seen on TV, like, blankets that turn into, like, jackets, you know what I'm talking about? Like, those blankets you could wear. <laughs> Snuggies, I think. Are they called Snuggies? Yeah, it's it's very snuggy esque this, this hoodie in a large when you're six feet tall. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's really cool. Um, and it's great. And I can see my hands, and it's great, because, like, if I really, like, wave the arms out, my hands won't come out. They'll be, like, kind of obscured, but, like, still, like, my hands are, like, still not past the cuff. It's just rolling over. Um, but... You know, you can still see my hands no matter what. And yeah, it's almost never going to be like that because, like, most of the time it's going to be, like, folded up up here and you can, like, see my hands nonetheless and, you know, it's way better. And, um, yeah. One more look at the top graphic. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Um, but yeah, overall, it's pretty cool. I went for the... I went for the washed green color wet. No, I think it's just called green. Let me just check. Oh, it's called dark green. Um, this is the dark green colorway. It might come off as like gray on camera. Um, when I was showing it to my mom, she didn't even realize it was green until I mentioned it. She was like, oh yeah, I guess it is kind of green. <laughs> um, it's like very, 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 very like dark green. It almost looks like a gray. Like if it made like, you would maybe think, if you saw this, you would maybe think it's, like, gray, but there's just, like, weird lighting. No, it's green. It's, like, kind, it's, like, very, very dark, sort of almost military, like, forest green. Dark, dark green. Um, so, uh, you know, I went for that colorway because that was the one that was consistently selling for the cheapest on StockX, and this has sort of been a grail of mine. Uh, the grail grail would sort of be the white one, but that one sells for, like, $400, and I'm not going to sell, I'm not going to buy a uh, different colorway for like an extra, what, like $300? That's crazy. Um, when I could just spend $300 less and get, you know, a colorway I'm also happy with, which is basically just black. Um, and you know, if you compare it to, 
a Yeezy Gap Perfect hoodie, which I have right here. It's obviously a way different color, right? This is actually black and this is obviously green looking at it side by side, but looking at it on looking at it on its own, it sort of just looks like a weird, like sort of dark gray color. Um, but yeah, it's green and <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy with it. It's, it's really like, I'm super, I'm super happy with it. And the lining is cool. It's a very cool lining on the inside. And um, yeah. Oh, uh, for breakfast, I had a bagel. Um, yeah, for breakfast, I had a cheese bagel. Uh, for lunch, I didn't really have anything. And for dinner, we are going to have sort of a couscous salad and like sort of a chicken meal. So I'm pretty excited for that. And um, yeah, nothing else is really going on. Um, you know, um, I'm trying to get my Minecraft server set back up. Um, 1.20, I'm not sick anymore, by the way. I'm happy to say. Um, I'm happy to say I'm not sick anymore. Uh, I woke up this morning, I was like barely, barely, barely sick. I was able to exercise, it was great. Um, so, I'm happy to say that. Uh, but, yeah, I'm just um, trying to get my Minecraft server working. Uh, 1.20.5 needs the newer Java version. Um, and Debian was on Java 17, so I have to I had to change from Debian Linux to Arch Linux, which you know is kind of not kosher on a server, um, but it's fine because it has so few packages and it's just like a home server running Minecraft and I have daily backups and it's really not anything to worry about. And frankly, um, I don't know. I just like I like running um, I like running Arch. I'm used to Arch. I know it might bite me in the back when I'm working in a you know, a workplace scenario, and I have to work with Debian servers all the time, but, you know, I know my way around a terminal, you know, like, I don't, I don't know, I, th I think it's, I think it's fun. Um, but, yeah, nothing else is really going on, and I uh, hope everybody has a wonderful day. Um, see you, dude.